Welcome to our Yeastar tutorial. Today, we will see how we can add an extension, delete an extension, modify an extension, and also how we can manage our trunk and add a rule, and so on. We will go through how to add an extension by clicking on Ajouté. It will take us to another page where we will find some information that we need to fill in to create our extension. For now, we have the name, first name, email address, and phone number. Here we have the usage password that will be used to connect to our client interface, whether it is the web interface, a desktop interface, or a mobile interface. Next, we have the role of our extension, which can be, for example, admin or supervisor. You can manage this as you wish by creating roles here. For this part of the extension number, you can choose between 00 and 999, depending on the configuration chosen for the extensions. We also have the color ID, the username that we will use to connect to an IP phone, the password, as well. Next, we move on to configuring presence. For example, if you want to configure your phone to handle cases where a person is connected but cannot accept the call, you can set up a voicemail, an extension, or an IVR. For the extension, for example, the call will be redirected to another number that you have defined. The same thing for the other essays. Now let's move on to configuring voicemail. You have the option to enable or disable voicemail for an extension. Next, you can customize the voicemail pin. This code is composed of four digits. Finally, you have the option to decide if an email will be sent to the user when they receive a new voicemail. Next, to configure an IP phone with your extension, you just need to select the phone model and enter its MAC address. Once this information is entered, click on Confirm. If all your phones are already configured, you will not need to redo this step. Finally, let's move on to checking the users. Ensure that all information is correctly activated. For example, if a user does not yet have a role assigned, you can do it now. You can also modify the extension details such as the username, after clicking on Save, the changes will be applied immediately. Now, let's move on to the extension group. Creating extension groups is very useful when you want to manage multiple extensions efficiently. For example, you can create a group and add different extensions to it. This allows you to modify the permissions or roles of all the extensions in the group in a single action without having to change them individually. This method greatly simplifies the management of roles and permissions within your system. Next, in the permissions, you can grant or restrict users certain actions, such as adjutor extensions, modify groups, etc. For the trunks, we will configure a trunk. If necessary, delete the old one and click on Add to add a new one. Give it a name, for example GSM, because we are using a GSM gateway. Choose Peer Trunk as the type of trunk and configure the transport as UDP. Next, enter the hostname or the IP address of your gateway. For us, the IP address is 192.168.1.111. Next, assign a number for the calls. When you call this number, the call will be transferred to the gateway, then to the corresponding extension. For example, you can use the number 05001, give the trunk a name, such as GSM trunk, to facilitate its identification. Once you have verified that all the necessary and relevant information is correct, click on the Save button to record the changes. Next, click on Apply for your configuration to be applied. You will see that the trunk is now connected. 
Next, for the roles, you can create new roles and define specific permissions, such as adding or deleting an extension. You can customize these roles according to the needs of the admins or other users. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for your attention and see you soon for the next video. The largest stock of VoIP with dozens of brands. With us, you will find what fits your budget and your needs. And most importantly, everything comes with a warranty on the equipment and installation.